Now we are here with Katerina and Ellen who just won Game Beyond Entertainment for My Child Lebensborn. Guys, I have to say I'm so glad that you won this because it's so unexpected. Like when you kind of try and explain to someone, it's like it's kind of like a Tamagotchi, but with real real world influences and, and sort of it's just I mean, it's just amazing. Where did that idea first spring from? Actually, I was uh, co-producing a documentary film, uh, mm -hmm. Words Don't End, where we interviewed the Levenspawn children in Norway. And I was thinking to myself, this looks like yet another film with old people talking about the war, but it's really about kids. Yeah. We have to show the kids, and we should show it to uh, a younger audience, mm -hmm. so that uh, if you could really experience what it's like to, to be punished for, for something, although you're innocent. Yes. So that was uh, the basic idea. And then uh, this collaboration, because I met wonderful uh, Katrina, and uh, we've been, uh, yeah, w working hard at this for four years. It's been amazing. Four years, wow. yeah. It's just incredible because, like, yes, it's it's about you know these these terrible experiences that, that these children, some of whom are now in their 70s, right, yeah. and that you collaborated with them, that they had. But also, it starts off in such a positive light note as well. And I think that's crucial to really getting the audience engaged and on board with mm -hmm. the, the experiences that you then go on to detail. Yeah, definitely. And uh, also, actually, throughout the game, you do get these glimpses of happiness yes. because you know, people who, for instance, experience bullying or things like this, you, of course, it's not all bad all the time, mm -hmm. but in this situation, it is pretty horrific. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, the one thing that really saves this child is you as a player. Yeah. And we felt that was a very important part of it. We do get a lot of gamers who kind of go, oh, why, you know, can, can I change things? But it's mm -hmm. more like, well, you are already changing things by mm -hmm. trying. That's do you think that, message. you know, obviously receiving this BAFTA for, like, a game that, you know, has such a sort of deep... Do you find, do you find that you're almost like more hopeful in terms of like looking at where gaming is going in terms of gaming kind of growing up and now becoming this incredibly powerful tool to actually mm. really expand people's minds and perspectives about the past, about the future? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we, we launched the um, um, 8th of May last year and we've uh, had a, a, a wonderful uh, reception for the game, but we uh, are struggling to get mentioned in uh, the mainstream media mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because games aren't culture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If, if I'd made the do a documentary film, I would yeah. get the, the interviews, but a game, no, no. That's so, yeah. so uh, but that, and that, thank you to BAFTA, because, because but that it changed change. with the nomination. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has already changed, and we're so grateful, because we were, our goal is really to, to get the game out there yeah. to create mm -hmm. understanding yeah. for these children. Well, well done for telling such an amazing story, not just of these particular children, but about bullying and about adoption and all the other issues you touched upon with such class and, yeah. and just it's such so well deserved. So congratulations. Thank you so, so much. And thank, thank you for you, talking to you. us. Congratulations. Go have fun at the party now. You can relax. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so thank much. You so much. <laughs> Again, thank you, BAFTA. <laughs>